only weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlash knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, she's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the Weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Timora shine on you. Not that you'll need it. It's already gone! Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... I've said too much. All you need now is that not but death awaits you here. Turn back now where you still can. Drops of lemon balm oil. <laughs> A half pinch of powdered silver.
Oh, I I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. <laughs> if you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. Finally! Someplace livable! things going? I kinda saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor and I, I just picked it up, honest. It said someone broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? I don't know why Corlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in her chambers. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Hey, yeah. How are things going? Looks like someone was playing cards here, but they left in a hurry. Probably because we showed up. <laughs> it's nice to know we've built up a reputation. <laughs> sure, what's on your mind? It's strange having these new arcane powers. Back in Candlekeep, I never dreamed I might be a spellslinger like Gorion someday. Life sure has taken us to unexpected places. You more than me, I guess. It seemed practical. After all the weird places we've been, I thought it would help if I knew a couple spells and could figure out what the magical gadgets we find are for. Then, well, I had a knack for it. Magic. I like studying my spells and remembering how Gorion would do the same back in our Candlekeep days. Feels like I still have a connection with him, you know? You have a point. We can talk more about this later. For now, we should keep moving.
subterfuge is my strong suit. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. I'll leave my blade in your guts, mongrel! This chasm sure looks deep. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? I do. Wonder what's down there. You are more than welcome in my sight. behind you. I've got your back. them, then I task you with their destruction. Remove their leader and the rest will scatter. Return to me when this is done.
Arcana runs in our blood. In life, we worship the dead three. Ours is a line of wizards, of necromancers whose magic transcends death. From one generation to the next, we have studied the mechanism of undeath. Those who lie here lack the skill, power, or will to live eternally as liches. We've reached the catacombs. Watch your step. There are bound to be traps. I wouldn't be surprised if they're more undead, too. Tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones. If you need some advice on dealing with undead, the Flaming Fist Healer might be able to help. She's a priestess of Lathander, and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits. of you. Oh, if you insist. Ah! of you. She is my strong suit. <laughs> things going. These tombs are older than Winthrop. Be careful disturbing them. Old wizard ghosts are notorious for leaving traps all over the place. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. You are more than welcome in my sight. of you she is my strong
That symbol sure looks familiar. How about we keep moving? up this drab old place. How are things going? These braziers are strange. They're obviously magical. I wonder why they're different colors. Hmm. Maybe we'll figure out what they're for as we go along. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Subterfuge is my strong suit.
You feel a breeze? I feel a breeze. You have my greetings, faithful.
things going I recognize this one the symbol on the ground is the dead god Merkels he was god of the dead makes sense Corlaz's ancestors would have his mark here it looks like they worship the dead three as a group rather than individual deities we'll follow behind you I've got wow look at the size of that door there must be a lever or something to open it My God protects me and watches us all. Subterfuge is my strong suit. Subterfuge is my strong suit. Damn you. Damn you and all you defend. Everything was going to be different. Seravok was going to change the world. I gave everything to his cause, and you destroyed it all. Coast forever, and I was going to be a part of it. Now all that is left is dust and ruin. I and my followers surrender. Mm -hmm. 
so be it. Rot in a cell or rot in a crypt, it makes little enough difference. You did it! I knew you would! I wish I could have helped you out, but my magic still needs some work. A lot of work. I suppose so. Are you ready to leave now? This place gives me the shivers. The Flaming Fists and I are gonna head back upstairs using the rope we found. It's just south of here and takes you right up to the entrance. We'll meet you there when you're ready to leave.
Only because you ask nicely. As a living man, it was among my most prized possessions. Now it is useless to me. Now return from whence you came, and I shall return once more to my grave. To darkness. To dust. again.
guess this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? This is exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Thanks. I'll tell Duke Janath you found these when we get back to the palace. Thank you, gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead, or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. Let's never find out, all right? Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowin, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace, all have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate, little knowing how close at hand the answer is. <laughs> <laughs>